Good morning, my name is Hank Sims and today I'm going to be presenting the Any Old Bag Will Do speech. Uh, it's kind of a self-introduction speech where I go over some items that I've put placed in a bag. I'll talk about the bag itself and what that represents. And each one of the three items represents either my past, my present, or my future. So let's go ahead and get started. This is the bag. Uh, this is a laundry bag. We get issued these in basic training. And we pretty much put anything in there during basic training. We're always carrying around stuff back and forth. Uh, but today, though, I've placed the items in here. So I think that the bag uh, basically represents me. It represents myself because it contains my past, my present, and my future, just like I do. So the first item in this bag uh, is a picture. This is a picture of my wife when she was 13 years old. That's when we met. She was 13 and I was 14. Now I've selected this picture to represent my past because I have very few memories of my wife, of my past without my wife in it. For instance, let's say I started remembering my memories when I was about five years old and I met her when I was 14. So that's nine years of memories, only nine years without her in there. And truth be told, as the years go by, I've started to insert her into my old memories. So I think a picture of her represents uh, my past really well since there's hardly anything about my past that I don't remember her being a part of. Now the next item in the bag, uh, this is called a Nenju. Uh, it's a Japanese religious item. Um, Shin Buddhists use this and I'm a Shin Buddhist. And in church, basically we put the Nenju around our palms like this. When our palms are together like this, this is called Gasho. And uh, we wrap the Nenju around our palms in Gasho and in church, we'll, we'll sing songs like this or meditate like this. We're pretty much always doing this in church. So the ninja is a real uh, important part of, of the religion. So I selected this item to represent my present because um, while I'm recently new to the faith, uh, when I think about myself today, I think about uh, me being a Buddhist. Um, I strive to um, live the principles every day and, uh, you know, my family's really active in it, so I think that the Nenju is a good representation of my present self. Now, the last item in the bag, which represents my future, this is another picture, and uh, obviously a very old picture. This is a picture of my grandfather when, uh, on his wedding day, back in uh, during World War II. You might ask yourself, how can a, a such an old picture represents someone's future. Well, the way I look at it is like this. I know my grandfather now. He's in his mid-80s. And here he is in his mid-20s, much as I am right now. When I see the picture, I kind of feel a bit like a time traveler because he doesn't know in this picture what his life is going to be like, but I do. And it, the life that he led from then to where I know him now has been an extraordinary life, a very respectable one. Um, his life is one that I, I would like to emulate myself. The, the path that he led throughout his life is a future that I wish I can have for myself. So when I see this picture, I think of the future that I want to lead. So kind of in summary here, uh, we have these three items which represent my past, present, and future. My past being represented by a picture of my wife. This is uh, when I met her. She was 13 years old. Um, and I have very few memories without her, uh, very few memories without her in them. This is a representation of my present. It's a Nenju. Um, it's an integral part of the Shin Buddhist faith. So uh, we use this all the time in church. And representation of my future is this picture of my grandfather, whose life I'd like to emulate in my own future. Uh, and then, of course, we have the bag, which is empty now. So uh, that's the entirety of the presentation. I thank you very much for taking the time to watch it, and good luck to everyone in the class.